वेलकम बैक एवरीवन इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैड डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द बेसिक्स ऑफ थ्रेडिंग इन पाइथन एंड वी आल्सो डिस्कस्ड अबाउट हाउ वी कैन इंप्लीमेंट थ्रेडिंग एंड हाउ वी कैन इंप्रूव परफॉर्मेंस बाय एडिंग मल्टी थ्रेडिंग इन टुडेस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट जीआईएल व्हिच इज ग्लोबल इंटरप्रेटर लॉक एंड वी विल आल्सो डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ इट इज कनेक्टेड विद मल्टी थ्रेडिंग इन पाइथन सो व्हाट इज ए जीआईएल व्हिच इज ग्लोबल इंटरप्रेटर लॉक इन डेफिनेशन GIL is a mutex or a lock that allows only one thread to hold the control of the Python interpreter. This is a standard implementation of Python. It ensures only one thread can execute Python bytecode at a time. So this means when you use multi-threading, the threads are not exactly running in parallel. When we create multiple threads and start the threads concurrently, it actually start the threads parallel, but only one thread can access the bytecode at a time. Bytecode is nothing but an intermediate code that generated by the Python interpreter. It compiles the code and runs the code. So basically, one thread's bytecode can be executed by the Python virtual machine at a given moment. So why GIL? GIL is basically for thread safety. which means allowing only one thread to execute the python bytecode at a time that prevents race conditions and make memory management simpler so here we have a question if a single thread can run the bytecode at a time then how multi threading can give better performance over sequential execution right when considering multi threading the waiting is only for the interpreter lock release so basically one thread is in gil lock but at the same time the remaining threads can do other tasks and then wait for the gil to release so this overlap can reduce the total wait time for input output operations this concept can be understand by a real life example let's consider a kitchen with a single chef he has to prepare different dishes say sandwiches salads soup burger so he will prepare each dish one by one using different cooking items so he definitely take a good amount of time to complete all of these dishes so this is a case where task were completed without threading now we can introduce threading to this scene so we need to add more threads here chefs are the threads we add four threads that is four chefs now each chef can work on each dish so this will reduce overall time taken to complete all the dishes so So this way each chef can work independently and finish the dishes now we can introduce gil to this scene here we can add a single stove as the gil so the whole kitchen has only one stove so only one chef can use the stove at any given time so cooking on this stove can consider as the cpu bound task which take some time during this time other chef needs to wait but while a chef is chopping vegetables or mixing ingredients away from the stove other chef can use the stove this is similar to how the gil is released during input output operations allowing other threads to run as you can see in this image if there is three threads running in parallel the first thread acquire the gil for its usage after using it it releases the gil then the second thread acquire the gil and uses it once the gil released by the second thread the third thread acquire the gil and uses it again if the first thread needs the gil it acquire it and uses it so this way each thread switches the gil and complete all the tasks once a thread acquire a gil other threads can do other input out output operations or wait to release gil so this is the basic flow of the threads with gil and this way threading can be give better performance comparing to sequential operations limitation of gil the gil allow one thread to execute python bytecode at a time this means that even on a multi core processor python threads cannot fully utilize multiple cores for cpu bound task so basically if your script or task is mostly dealing with cpu means if it is a cpu bound task then you can't get much performance using threading because of gil overcome the gil first one is multi processing use the multi processing module to create separate processes instead of threads each processor has its own python interpreter and memory space and thus its own gil this allows true parallel execution on multiple cores other alternative is using c extensions some c extension release the gil when performing the long running operations libraries such as numpy scipy and others use this technique to achieve better performance so that's all i want to share in this video if this video helped you to learn new things then please consider to support my channel so that i will post more related videos thank you for watching and see you in the next video